It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Miller Coors and it's a bottle of their Genuine Draft coming in at 4.7% ABV in a clear glass bottle. You can see the colour of the beer. There's the bottle cap. It's been chilled down to the max. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. A little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. This beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors beersofeurope.co.uk Largest online beer store in the UK with a fantastic range of beer from all around the world. So, transferred from clear glass into a clear glass, it looks exactly the same. It's a straw coloured lager, good levels of carbonation, a one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, interestingly enough, before I get the aroma, this beer has been produced at the start of Pravin Brewery in the Czech Republic. It smells malty and very crisp and refreshing. It's got that kind of hazy, musty Maybe a corn aroma, corn or rice. So we'll have a look at the ingredients in a moment. Let's, let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Wow, as in that's. I mean, the way I'm going to go with this beer review is obviously not like I'm not going down the craft road with this beer review. I've chilled that down to about three. What's my fridge on? Between three and four degrees, my fridge is on. And that is is ultimately the crispest if you're if you're looking for a beer that is just crisp extremely drinkable very much like the consistency of water and just something to smash and and re rehydrate yourself after a hard day's work then this is probably the beer for you it's strange to say that. I mean, we're just finishing summer here in the UK and I've had a whole summer of drinking really good pilsners and lagers from around the world. And, and, and I suppose to, to put this up against the other premium lagers as they like to call themselves, there's a reason why this sells so much. It, the, the reason why it sells millions upon millions and millions of gallons and litres or whatever it, it hectolitres it does each year in bottles and draft. It's just a, it's just an absolute kind of sm I could just drink this down in one. So removing this is ultimately a real ale craft beer channel with some food and lagers chucked in on the side. So removing my craft beer head, taking that off, putting it somewhere else just for a few minutes, taking this beer for what it is. It's, there's no faults whatsoever. It, it would be absolutely incredible if anybody could find a, 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 a fault with the beer there's no off flavors there's no there's no kind of cabbagey terrible aromas and flavors in the beer there's there's no diacetyl there's no skunkiness but then again there's a little bit of bitterness on the back end it's sweet kind of malty 
liquid with, without much of a bitterness. Let's, uh, do they have the ingredients here? I don't think so. Oh, there we are. Um, just this a pasteurized beer contains barley. And that's it. That that's it in terms of filtered for exceptional smoothness. That's what they're looking for. That's what they've given. There's a reason why so many people drink this type of beer. Is because it's just a real refresher. It is a real refreshing beer. If I was out in in an American restaurant, which I sometimes go to with my kids, and they didn't have much on, and I and I. The opportunity was there to have a cold lager with a pizza or a burger. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to rate it. First time I've ever tried this beer. It had a big UK presence in the in the 80s and 90s and then it seemed to disappear so when i seen it on beers of europe's website i thought to myself why not why not the miller brewing company 1855 it's not of course i took my craft beer head off so i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap things up by saying it's not the tastiest beer in the world but it functions as a beer. It, it sells to millions of people around the world. It's a six out of 10, an honest six out of 10. Six out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.